How's everybody doing today? So far I'm actually not doing half bad, but uh, I've probably made this video like a hundred times and it just never seems to go right. Um, I'm learning. I'll get there eventually, maybe, probably, possibly not, but anyway. So yesterday I tried to make it, but I live down a dirt road and a lot of people were out and about yesterday apparently, so it made it really hard to get any recording done because everyone that lives around here is pretty friggin' loud. And uh, sorry I haven't got a video out in a while. It's the weather here in Arkansas is getting pretty crappy or was pretty crappy there for like a week as everyone knows because Texas got pretty slammed. But they should be doing better now, hopefully. Anyway, so I've made a few videos talking about my Harley and I figured I would make this one real fast just to show you um, what exactly my bike is because I know I haven't done really a walk around of it. But I figured I'd do that just to show everybody and hopefully I can do this all in one take because that makes editing so much easier. Anyway, without further ado, I'll go ahead and show you my bike. That's it right there. It is a 2015 Harley Davidson Street Bob, as you can see right there. But I have the Arlen Ness Super Sucker, no, sorry, Monster Sucker uh, air cleaner on it. And the cool part about the Monster Sucker is not only is it freaking massive, but it's also got this little ramjet here, and it's got a filter inside of it. Yeah, you guys can barely see that, but there's a filter in there. So it pulls air in through the front and through the sides. So super good for performance, I feel. But I also got the TBR exhaust. And as you can see, I've had a few heat cycles on it. Still TBR. Pretty nice, but starting to turn that bronze color. I'm starting to like it. But I also don't think it's tuned quite right because my pipes here are turning really blue. But I don't know, maybe that's nothing, but it could be something, I don't know. I have the Dynavision tuner. I've already tuned the bike, but I'm going to go ahead and do like an auto-tune thing to it. I don't have the auto-tune kit you can buy for the Power Vision, but hopefully that works just fine. If not, it's nothing too terrible. I did just kind of temporarily do it. Oh, I got the sissy bar backrest here, the detachable quick detach, so it's easy peasy to take off of there. I did spark plug wires. I don't know if you guys can see that very well, but they are the Screaming Eagle spark plug wires, and I did plugs also. Apart from that, the bike's pretty well just stock, other than the LED turn signals and stuff, which I'll show you in a minute, but as far as the power vision goes, well, you can barely see that because of the light, but I have the cord running right down here, and it goes underneath the gas tank. Zip ties here to the spark plug holder, and then goes under the seat, and then plugs into the bike. And that's pretty much that. Now as far as the LEDs go, make sure the bike is off. I'll show you those real quick. Can't see it very well, but I did put an LED headlight on there. Wow, that's terrible. That's bright. But it does have an LED headlight on there. I know you can't see it. There you go, that's close enough. So I just keep doing that, block it, and then show it. Anyway, and I bought the Halos. Wow, yesterday this was doing so much better. There we go. I bought the Halo rings for the front. Both of them. And then the tail lights are the same. Wish I had a little more room in my shed. But they're both the same until you hit the brakes. And it lights up in the middle. Pretty neat. But it does the same thing for the turn signals and stuff too. Golly! If I don't knock everything off. But there's the power vision all turned on. You can do all sorts of stuff. You can go into the settings, change stuff, accept stuff, move stuff, whatever. Anyway, it's got a bunch of features. So I guess what I'll do right now is go ahead and start this thing up for you guys. Make sure my shed's open a little further because. I'm pretty bad about not doing that. Anyway, so I'll go ahead and start the bike up. Or first, it's got 18,788 miles. So it's not like a super high mileage bike, but it's not too bad. I'll click the run.
high because it's cold outside. It's like a whopping 40 degrees. I know for some of you that's not terribly cold, but but so far that is the Harley. I would like to do a little more to it, but I mean, money is hard to come by nowadays it seems like, but anyway, let me get to where you guys can see me better. So that's pretty much it for my bike as far as my bike goes anyway. I would like to do more stuff to it, but I don't know how long that'll take. I probably won't do anything here anytime soon. But I do also have um, this, I'll show you guys, Arlen S rain sock. It goes on your air cleaner for whenever you're riding in the rain. I heard bad reviews on it, making it run weird and stuff like that whenever you have it on there, but I haven't really noticed a hell of a difference. It's just nice to have whenever you get stuck out in the rain and you don't want rain going inside the tip of your little thing there. Anyway, but that's just my opinion. Anyway. So that is my bike, um, 2015 Street Bob, nothing too special, but uh, I would like to do a video on a couple of my buddy's bikes. I have one friend who's got a 2020 Street Bob, the soft tail, and he seems to really love it. He's got Vance and Hines short shots on it, and a but it's the Arlen Ness Super Sucker instead of the Monster Sucker, so it's a little bit smaller than what I got. And it really doesn't seem like it runs that bad. We need to go take it and get it tuned sometime soon, but it's not really that big of a deal right now. It's too cold outside. But uh, then I have another friend who's got a 2020 Lowrider. I like to do a video on it. It's just a pretty much completely stock bike. The only difference is it's got Reinhardt slip-ons. And it's white. Uh, the Street Bob, the 2020 Street Bob, is red and black. It's that two-tone color that they came out with in 2020. So I like them both. I have another buddy who's got a, I think it's a 2007 Lowrider, uh, Dyna, just like mine. And uh, he's got the Bassani 2 into one exhaust with the um, Arlen Ness Super Sucker air cleaner, like the 2020 Street Bob does. And he is about to take his bike and go have it cammed. So hopefully I'll be able to get a good before and after video on that because... I've tried, I've taken a few videos of it and none of them seem to turn out all that great. So I'm going to try again, see what I can get done. But the, uh, the crappy part is, is this stupid camera. It's a GoPro Hero 9. And whenever you are just regularly recording, unless you change the settings, it records in some format that I can't use with my video editor. So it makes it tough. That's what happened to yesterday's video that I made on this bike in the sun. And if I can, I'm going to try and upload a sound of it. That way, you guys can hear it better outside instead of in this stupid shop or shed, whatever you want to call it. Anyway, so what I'm going to do is upload a picture of the 2020 Lowrider S right now. And then I'll upload a video or a picture of the 2020 Street Bob right now. And then I'll also do a picture of my buddy's 08, 07, 07 Lowrider S right now. And that's it. That's all we got as far as bikes go. That's probably about as far as it's going to get for a long time. Um, we're all going broke because of, uh, because of this right here. <clears throat> Harley Davidson. Expensive. It's $100 for every letter, for those of you who don't know. And if you don't understand that, that... You're not a Harley person. You wouldn't. You wouldn't get it. Anyway, so that's that. Um, and I would also like to say that I don't want to make this channel about only Harleys. I don't want it to be like a motorcycle channel, even though that's probably what a vast majority of everything on this channel will be. But uh, I do have a 2013 Mustang GT that I would like to do a bunch of stuff to to get done to upload more content for you guys. And so I got a 2013. Coyote 5.0 that I would like to do a video on one of these days about some upgrades and some of the stuff that I have done to it. And it's the same thing, just some super basic bolt-ons, kind of like my Harley here. Just the, the more basic little things that I, anyone can do, really. But, uh, so, instead of me just rambling on, I guess I'll let you guys go. And, uh, well, you guys have a good day. I hope everything works out for you. Stay safe. Ride on.